So today we're going to Elephant Head. I think is what it's called. Anyhow, um, yeah, last week we were um, the owl heads, and today we're going to the elephant head. And you see what I'm doing? I'm getting everything ready to go because somebody is in the shower. So I'm going to finish getting everything loaded so we can go meet the kids. Cody and Caitlin were out late last night. Uh, Cody was roping and uh, they didn't get home till late so they got a late start so now we're just kind of getting a late start but no big deal. Cody had to go shoe this morning and um, down in Green Valley so we're just gonna get loaded up and go meet them in Green Valley. We're ready. <laughs> My driver for the day. We're out to meet Cody and Caitlin down south to go do some wheeling in between a couple of the ferrier jobs. The only one that didn't come with us was Tristan. Yeah, Tristan no Tristan, we have a, I can't say we have an empty back seat because I have all my camera stuff and my, my bag and Lawrence's bug out bag and the ice chest and I guess I need to put my seat belt on. Cause it's dang ding dangin'. But we are going to the elephant heads today. Last week we were in the owl heads. Hopefully I don't fall and bust my ass again today. Yeah, no more bruises. My ass still hurts. But we're gonna we're gonna see what it is. I mean it might be a dud. But we're gonna be with the kids, so we don't care. We're just out for some fun. We'll go. We'll go give it a try. He's gonna open up the tailgate to break the ice and then he's going to come and put it in the ice. <laughs> the ice for the cooler? <laughs> I was making fun of you opening the tailgate to break the ice on. <laughs> oh, well I didn't want him to come around and get dirty in the cooler. Oh. Okay. Um, oh, we got the air compressor? I here. brought the air compressor. Sweet. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. There they are. Hey! I don't even have time to pee now. I know, me either. We're gonna have to do it out there. I gotta pee too! There's a ditch. There's a tunnel over there. <laughs> <laughs> the tunnel, what the heck? <laughs> better be careful, there's probably some uh, people so, in there. Some illegals in there? They cleaned it out finally. Oh, did they? Happening, yeah. Wow. Ew. Alright, well we'll go up that way and get off on the dirt and then find somewhere to use the restroom. Okay. Get rid of some KFC. <laughs> Get rid of some KFC. Uh, Alright. Don't put it up here. Hunters? Mm -hmm. Probably just eight two years.
Like climb the radio tower? No, no, like climb the radio tower. We can climb up to the radio tower. Have you been up there? That, or it's there's like, another road that takes you instead of driving on flat like this, it takes you up to this. Thing. Can we get to Mexico from here? Eventually. Hell yeah. <laughs> I've only been an hour and a half down there. So you're like ten minutes from the border. Okay. Yeah. I don't. It doesn't matter to me. Like we can do whatever. We're just out having fun and enjoying a Sunday. All right, let's do it. To the radio tower it is. My super beautiful co-pilot <laughs> and awesome wife. Holding my hair because it's blowing all over the place. <laughs> hey, we're having fun, right? <laughs> We're at uh, 4,400 feet now. We're starting to find those trees. Oh, it's fine. Hmm. I can hear him now. What's the hold up? <laughs> Can't that pavement princess move? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think the last time we went wheeling we proved it wasn't quite the pavement princess we thought it was. <laughs> yeah. Just a bummer because the cameras really didn't show like how steep that really actually was. Oh, I know. Oh, well, this is pretty wicked cool right here. I think we're on the elephant's back right now. Yeah. Oh yeah, don't don't go over the. <laughs> Oh, got plenty of room. Okay, so this is the steep part. It's all, it's all concrete. There's the road we came in on. I would give this one a rating of a... 0.5. No, 2. Well, yeah, I mean, you'd, you'd want a higher clearance vehicle. Yeah, Cody said this was steep. Like... Very steep, but it's not. I said, what's the radio tower road like? He said... It's more like... Well, we haven't got to the radio tower yet. Well, this could be is true. Last, last little bit. Pretty cool, Leo. That used to not be concrete. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was like a nasty, nasty... That's probably why they concreted it. Yeah, it I figured they probably did that because of the snow when it snows. Probably nasty trying to get up there. Probably, but... That's the top of the elephant's head. Right below here is that mine shaft. It goes, I don't know how far it goes. But now 
now with my with the Onyx, I've always thought about if you go into those, just start that tracker and then walk in there. Yeah, no. And see how far it goes, like the one that we went into. Oh, there's Cindy. Mind you, she's scared of heights. She fell down a hill last time, so she disappears. She disappears. We know. That's what I said. I was like, no. She's just being silly. Yeah, the wind's gonna blow her. Oh, okay. Sail away with my hair. <laughs> slid down the hill last week. <laughs> I think I got that on video. What, him hugging me? Yeah. <laughs> it's a rare. Oh, yeah, that too. Oh, my goodness. That's a rare thing. <laughs> oh, my God. Where did he go? <laughs> what did he do? He doesn't know how to work my camera, so he can't get a picture. <laughs> He's like, how does this work? I'm not climbing down there to show you. Do it. Do it, but not on. Warn me so I can turn my camera off. <laughs> you won't get on the TV. <laughs> oh my god, Cody. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Last video of Cody Wartman. Yeah, let's know it. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> we got a winch, we can pull you back up, buddy. Anyway. Uh, you think you're Mr. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Last Caitlin started the the Cherokee up in a, a, an attempt to hint at let's go. Okay, it didn't work because those buffoons went back there and they're still talking. And I honked and that still didn't work. We're burning daylight here. And we're back on the road. Here we go. For for a few more minutes anyhow until we find a space to turn around and then we'll probably have to stand up there and bullshit for at least another 10 20 minutes <laughs> Drone, this is a drone footage. Take one, take two. <laughs> oh wait, oh no, it's running out of battery. Drone. Oh, hover <laughs> and land. Good job, Cody. <laughs> Good job, Cody. You make an excellent zone, drone. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Hey, you gotta smile. <laughs> Look at that. Oh god. It's gonna be hot. What the fuck is that all about? Huh. Uh, battery light came on. Oh, you probably should have gone before it was all the lights were off. Oh. Driver's seatbelt unbuckled. Okay, let's get that taken care of. <laughs> Alright, we're in. Locked in, rock and ready to go. Well, that was fun. That's cool. The first road we took wasn't wasn't much. Very boring. Really flat. Um, some rocky areas like some wash rock where the rocks were really big and round. Um, but nothing very challenging at all. It's like a it's like a bad driveway that's been washed out. The second road that we took was really cool, very scenic. It it wasn't rough whatsoever. I mean we were two wheel drive all the whole time we were out. All the way to the top. All the way to the top. Um, there was the part where they had the concrete put, but they had to put that on there because during the winter time, the roads get super slick, and when they have to go up to that uh, antenna, then they they've got to be able to make it up there. So um, Cody and Caitlin had been up there before when it wasn't there, and they had a heck of a time, and they couldn't make it all the way up. But now that it's got that concrete, it was super easy to get up there. And it was it was really pretty. It wasn't challenging whatsoever, but it was definitely pretty. Um, we didn't we didn't four wheel drive at all, but we did get to off road and get some exploring. And just some exploring and just have some fun. And Cody had limited time to be able to do it because he had to go and shoe some more horses this afternoon. So hopefully next time we get to go out when Lawrence is back from Alaska next month, then we'll hopefully we can have a whole day to go somewhere and do something. But otherwise, it was it was pretty fun though, and the, and it was nice. The wind was blowing like a lot, but it cooled it off. So like it's almost 90 down here, and it was about 80 up where we were at, like 5,800 feet. So it was nice and it was fun to spend time with the kids out, out and about. How high do you think we climbed in elevation? Well, we're at like 4,000 feet right here. So we climbed a good 1,800 foot in elevation. Yeah. And then the observatory is like 8,000 feet. Ooh. And that's, that's, even, nice that's even higher. Yeah. So. Yeah, I definitely want to go see the observatory. Yeah. Probably can't go in there or like go see it or anything like that, but it'd be a nice drive to drive up there and, and see the scenery. Yeah, I'll have to do some research on what what it is. It's Whipple Observatory, so maybe I'll look it up or ask the kids. They should know because Caitlin's parents live right here by it, so yeah. I'll have to ask. But anyhow, but fun day. Definitely so fun day. Now we're heading home. <laughs> Time for a nap. <laughs> Time for a nap. Time to go swimming. Oh, all the pools should be almost done. Yeah. It's about half full. Ah, that's enough water to get started. <laughs> yep. All right. Peace out. <laughs> I was holding my hair.